Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a very quick and easy guide on how to get jewels in Monster Hunter World. For those of you who don't already know, jewels are going to be a huge part of the end game content in this game, and you are going to need a crap load of them. So please stay tuned throughout the whole video, guys, as it does post some pretty important information. And if you do enjoy today's guide, then please remember to leave a like, and also a comment is appreciated. And if you're not already subscribed, go and click on the subscribe button. I'm going to be doing a lot of Monster Hunter World videos, glitches, and guides. Okay, so getting into today's tutorial, for those of you who don't know, there is actually an event going on right now in Monster Hunter World that is very easy to do, and it doesn't really give you much in terms of anything, it doesn't give you that much, and it's it's pretty much the simplest thing ever, it's called Scrapping with the Shamos, all you have to do is hunt down 13 Shamos, and that's pretty much it, it takes you literally a minute to kill them all, super simple. But one thing about this quest is it is actually a really good quest to get uh, jewels in Monster Hunter World very, very quickly. I'm talking three jewels every time you kill them, or, you know, the majority of time, uh, three jewels every time. And that's pretty much how simple it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to load up the quest and fast travel to Camp 1. And from here, we're going to get... Uh, head down the route where you can actually find all 14 Shamos in under a minute. Uh, so if you just come off this cliff right here, we're going to jump all the way down to where the Kelbys are at. Uh, and we're going to turn towards the right hand side. Uh, just past the snow here, past the Kelbys. And eventually you will come to a little uh, kind of honey pod. Uh, this is how you know that you're going in the right area. It's area 2, I believe. Now going down this route, there's a couple of things that you can gather. So, you know, it's worth picking them up along the way every time you do this but eventually going through here you will find a couple of shamos just kind of wondering about they normally wander in herds of like two to four or something like that so yeah you're killing them pretty pretty quick and as you can see i've already killed my three shamos a couple more after they hear the cries of the other shamos come rushing over and everything so you know it's pretty much they're helping you out they're just kind of gathering all in one place um, once you've actually killed the first group of Shamos that are here, we're going to head completely forward. We're just going to keep on going the same way. Make sure to check left and right just in case any of them are lying down, relaxing or something like that. And eventually going up this little hill area right here, you should see the other five or six that just kind of chill out. Uh, so as you can see, here they are. They're very easy to miss when they're lying down, by the way. So make sure that you do kind of keep an eye out for them, as I have missed them a couple of times when doing this quest. Um, now, this quest is extremely good for giving jewels, like I said, and normally you will find around about two to three jewels every time you do the quest, which is pretty good, in my opinion, for a minute, getting three jewels, four, uh, three or two jewels, that's extremely good, and you're not going to really find that anywhere else. Unfortunately, the bad thing is, the event quests are eventually going to go, which means that this will no longer be available for you to kind of farm very quickly, uh, very easily, and get jewels. So, what I, would out, what I would actually tell you guys right now is, please make sure that you actually use this to the best of your ability. Unfortunately for me, it took me two minutes to complete this one, that's because I have my greatsword, but in those two minutes, I did get two jewels, and they will be used later on for me in the Elder Melody which you guys are gonna need to use it's it's basic knowledge you guys are going to need to use the elder melder to get better stuff later on and uh, yeah the jewels aren't that great they're just like normally level one level twos um but you know keep on farming this as much as you can guys until the 9th i believe i believe once it gets to the 9th of february it will be completely over um so again, make sure to farm it, just keep on doing the same quest over and over. I know it is a bit tedious and very boring, but you know, if you guys want easy duels, it's the best possible solution right now, until somebody comes forward with a better guide. Him. So yeah guys, I hope you all the best on getting all the jewels that you need for the Elder Melder and everything like that. And if you did find this little guide helpful, then please remember to leave a like as it is appreciated. And just have an awesome day. Until next time, I mean Star Lord. Oh, see ya.